I want to start by pointing out that any of the top pads are great. There's no super advantage that's going to make you elite. They're just different, not actually better or worse. I could happily use the Cooler Master Swift RX or the Zowie GSR. Both are really good for me. That doesn't mean they'll be perfect for you though. Choosing a mouse pad is about personal preference. And unfortunately, that means you're going to have to keep on trying different pads until you find the one you like. That said, a lot of the top pads feel really similar, so you don't have to try them all. You can probably base your decision on size, if you like cloth or hard pads, control or speed. I can give you a general idea of speed, but I don't have an exact test. The black GSR has a bit of extra control to it. Some say it's stopping power, and after use, it becomes more obvious. For me, that's really good. I find it helps me aim better. Others say that's bad, they want less resistance, so the GTFX might be better for them, as it's in between a hard and soft pad. But it's good news for those people with the GSR SE. It feels faster and doesn't have that stopping power or control factor to it. I'd say it's closer to the Corsair MM300 and Razor Goliath is speed, but it feels a bit different, of course. So let's call it a speed cloth pad, still with a lot more control than hard pads, but not to the degree of the GSR. I call the GSR a speed pad too, even though it seems to have more control than a Goliath of speed. Again, the top pads aren't that different from each other. Now the features. Obviously, it has this blue design. I think it looks really good, especially with a white mouse, but it's only going to suit blue setups. Just a couple of logos. They're not raised though, so all good there. No stitched edges on this one, so I'm concerned about durability. I find the tops lift off unless you have that stitching. Still has a flat base, so when I run my hand over it, I don't feel any lumps, which is really good. Most mouse pads are uneven, and if you press it down into the desk, and then try to move it, it's really hard to move. So I doubt it will slide around at all if it's on a clean, flat surface. It measures just over 47cm by 39.5. I haven't found any tracking issues. This is what it looks like tracking with the 3310 sensor in Zowie Mice, and a 3366 in Logitech. And a line test to confirm that, GSR in red, SE in blue, both with the FK2. You can see they're basically the same, nothing out of the ordinary. So to conclude, it's a great pad, definitely worth checking out if it's going to suit you and your setup. You might see me using it on stream a lot, because it makes the mice stand out, and while it's not the perfect speed for me, I can still play well on it. Thanks to Zowie for sending this out for me to use on stream, I'll leave some links in the description if you want to help support the channel or buy one of these. Subscribe for more reviews and gaming videos, like this one, and I'll catch you in the next.